Picking up a Rolex isn't quite like snagging a shirt off the rack at your local mall. It's a whole different ball game. You might think it's just about having the cash, but oh boy, there's more to it than that. These watches are in hot demand, and securing the one you've been dreaming about involves a little more strategy and patience. So, before you dive into your next adventure at a Rolex authorized dealer, let's talk about dodging some common pitfalls to ensure you can flash that new Rolex with pride. Welcome to Opulent Oasis. In today's video, we'll dish out some savvy tips on navigating the world of Rolex shopping. Haven't hit that subscribe button yet? Join our community today to catch all the juicy updates we have in store. The Rolex Scheme Now the world's peppered with plenty of legit Rolex dealers, but here's the thing, not all are playing by the book. Yep, amidst the shining examples are a few shady operators. They're out there pulling stunts like under-the-table deals and package sales that can leave a bad taste in your mouth. It's a real bummer especially if you're hunting for hot ticket items like the Submariner or Daytona. You might just find yourself peeking at other brands after seeing the wild prices and the sorry we're out signs too many times. Honestly, Rolex could do without that kind of drama tarnishing its name. But let's not paint it all gloomy. Many Rolex authorized dealers are real gems. They stick to the straight and narrow, focusing on customer delight and maintaining Rolex's sterling reputation. These people run a tight ship, emphasizing ethical dealings, top-notch service, and building trust with you, the watch enthusiasts. Sure, a few bad apples might make headlines, but the vast majority of dealers are passionate about timepieces and dedicated to giving you a stellar shopping experience. Switching gears, today we're flipping the script to highlight some tricky tactics, some customers pull that really get under dealers' skin. We're talking about the sneaky game of reselling hot models, or twisting arms to climb waiting lists. Ever caught yourself doing that? Well, it's high time to cut it out because, let's be honest, playing the system just makes buying that dream watch tougher for everyone else. Shady Grey Market Dealers Let's set the scene. Someone strolls into a Rolex authorized dealer, eyeing up the big ticket items like the Ceramic Panda Daytona, the Kermit, or the GMT Master II Pepsi, Watches that are as elusive on the market as a dragon in New York City. And sure, who wouldn't want to sport a Tiffany Oyster Perpetual 41 or a blue stainless steel sky dweller? Celebrating diverse tastes is what it's all about. But these shoppers aren't just after these watches because they're their dream pieces or because they want to pass them down like family heirlooms. Nope. Their eyes are sparkling with visions of dollar signs, not timeless craftsmanship, they're in it to win it, or more accurately, to flip it. Imagine snagging that Panda Daytona for around $12,000 and then flipping it for over $30,000. It's like hitting a mini lottery, isn't it? But amid these lucrative flips, we encounter those sly foxes of the watch world. They aren't in the game for the love of the craft. They're here to make a fast buck. While everyone loves a good profit story, exploiting these mechanical marvels just for quick cash. That's where the line gets drawn in the sand. Before we dive into our next tip, why not hop on board with the opulent Oasis community? Subscribing means you'll stay ahead of the game with our top-notch content. Sounds good? Let's get back. Keeping it real with Rolex. Just envision yourself walking into a Rolex dealer with your game face on, ready to do some serious shopping. You've got these folks who waltz in all smiles and charisma, asking about a Pearl Master or a fancy two-tone ladies date just claiming it's a gift for someone special. Clever, right? They chat it up, dropping compliments left and right, pretending to be smitten with models that, honestly, aren't the big stars of the show. They're aiming to bundle, mimicking the shady dealer playbook, trying to sweet-talk their way into snagging a sought-after Rolex by appearing as typical passionate buyers. But here's a golden rule, just be honest. Want a Cartier? Say it loud and proud. I'm on the hunt for a Cartier. Or... Got my eye on that Breitling, maybe a Moonwatch, or that zesty Pepsi, or the Oyster Perpetual with the mustard dial. Clear communication is your best friend in these temples of timekeeping. What if those crafty players were upfront about their intentions, right? No surprises here. They wouldn't be walking out with those high-demand watches at retail prices. Trust us, transparency is the ace up your sleeve. The waiting game. 
Ever noticed how some folks try to play musical chairs with Rolex waiting lists? Here's their move. They pretend to fall head over heels for a not-so-popular model to get their name on the list. Then, as if by magic, they switch gears aiming for that crown jewel everyone's dying to get their hands on. It's not just a cheeky maneuver, it's a full-on strategy that dealers can spot from a mile away. This little dance does more than ruffle feathers, it messes up the whole system, leaving true watch aficionados out in the cold. So you've got your eye on that hard-to-get Rolex? Here's a pro tip with this. Honesty is your best policy. Trying to outfox the system? Spoiler alert, it's not worth the hassle. Dealers are all about transparency and respect. Customers who play by the book. Twisting the waiting list doesn't just annoy the folks behind the counter. It stirs up a storm in the entire community of watch lovers. Keep it straight, keep it sincere, and watch how smooth your experience can be. Trust me, in the world of luxury watches, fair play is more than just good manners, it's everything. Beware the tire kicker. Ever heard of the tire kicker in the watch world? Picture this. They stroll into the store, their eyes light up at every display case, and they bombard the staff with every question under the sun. But when push comes to shove, time to pull out the wallet, they vanish like a ghost. Dealers love sharing their passion and helping true enthusiasts dig into the details, but when someone's just taking a joyride through the collection with no intent to buy. That's a whole other ball game. If you're truly on a mission to snag that Rolex, showing a bit of commitment can go a long way. Dealers are more than happy to flex their expertise and guide you to your dream watch. But remember, swinging by just to kill time? That's a surefire ticket to becoming less favoured at your favourite dealer. A little sincerity goes a long way in the world of luxury watches. After all, nobody enjoys feeling like they're just part of someone's window shopping spree. The Persistent Haggler Let's talk about a character you'll meet in luxury watch dealerships. The Persistent Haggler Picture someone walking in, their eyes locked on a stunning Rolex. Instead of marvelling at its craftsmanship, they dive straight into bargain hunter mode, trying to talk down the price. Sure, haggling is part of the game in many markets, but at a luxury watch counter, it's a different story. The prices are often fixed, reflecting the exclusivity and intrinsic value of these timepieces. Here's a better approach. Focus less on the sticker price and more on what you're getting. The craftsmanship, the service, the whole experience. Most authorised dealers aren't just selling a watch, they're offering a piece of art and a slice of history. They operate above board and aren't fans of endless haggling. It just doesn't mesh with the ethos of luxury brands like Rolex. So if you're someone who's tempted to start a price war over that shiny new watch, maybe take a step back and think about what you're really after. So while it's tempting to play watch wizard, remember, good things come to those who play fair. Let's keep things above board and ensure everyone gets a fair shot at that Rolex they've been eyeing. Now switching gears a bit. Have any of you ever been tempted to pull a fast one to get your hands on that elusive Rolex? Or maybe you've had a standout experience with a dealer that you'd love to share. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of luxury watch buying, hit that thumbs up, drop us a comment, and don't forget to follow our channel for more insights. Thanks for tuning in to Opulent Oasis, and we can't wait to bring you along for more top-tier watch tales.